Hi, I'm Meryl Marco, and I live here in lovely Southern California. I'm a single woman, and it seems to me that nowadays, a lot of us really evolved types are having even more trouble with male-female relationships than in the good old days of, go ahead and destroy me, I'm your doormat, that were pioneered by our mothers. And sometimes a bunch of my friends and I will be sitting around talking, and someone will say, well, where do you even go to meet men? And then someone else will say, well, you know what I heard? I heard there are 10 men to every woman in Alaska. We should all go there. Well, here we are in Alaska. Let's answer the question, who are these guys, and what would life be like if you moved here? What brings me here tonight? The women. We ain't got too many in Trapper Creek, so we had to come over here to get them. <laughs> this might seem like a good opportunity to you. The Talkeetna Bachelor Society cordially invites all single ladies to the 8th Annual Wilderness Woman Contest and the 13th Annual Bachelor Ball. Ladies, I want to tell you about our loosely organized social club. Now tell me about this Bachelor Society. Well, the Bachelor Society was formed uh, 13 years ago. And right over there in the uh, Fairview, a bunch of guys got together with bachelors and uh, uh, was looking to how to draw some women up here and uh, uh, knowing, getting on more women. Does anyone here look any good to you, right off the bat? They all do. <laughs> you know, I was told that Alaska, number one, when I moved here, has a lot of people here. They're here, you know, and that's saying that the odds are good, but the goods are odd. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> the guys in Talkeetna live 112 miles north of Anchorage in temperatures that are frequently 10 to 20 degrees below zero. So what would happen if you did fall in love with one of these guys and you did decide to move up there? Then what? Well, the Wilderness Women Contest is designed to parody and showcase elements of what your life would be like. This whole thing actually is like pretending that you're on the trail to town and you have all these experiences along the trail, uh -huh. all of which could actually really happen. The first thing you would do is to catch a fish, uh -huh. so they're casting it. You could catch a fish on the trail to town? You bet. But you're attacked by a moose, which is a pretty normal thing up here. Moose. But in the town, it would be that man without the costume. <laughs> <laughs> I've been attacked by moose on a regular basis when I've I I've been attacked by that man. <laughs> this is part of just some of the incredible fun you can have here in Talkeetna, part of that great Talkeetna sense of humor that makes it almost worth the fact that it's only two degrees! As if all this were an enticement enough to come to Talkeetna, later in the evening, the bachelors offer their female guests a chance to purchase their company. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. This is Bill Holton. Can we get five bucks for Bill Holton? Can we get? Oh my God! Twenty bucks for Bill Holton. I got twenty bucks. Can I? I'm still gonna buy some more. <laughs> you just, you just got a date. I'm gonna buy some more though. That's what they're here yeah. for. <laughs> yeah, he'll make me feel good like I knew he would. Whoa! I like to take him home if I could. Doodly doodly do. I got the hot crabbing and female blue. <laughs> I got 51 times, do I have $51 going once? I got 50. The goal in life is to live free and happy like I am. And if I can find a woman that wants to live free and happy like me, then perfect. So you're looking for someone exactly like yourself, but with less facial hair? Well, definitely less facial hair, yes. Somebody who's willing. Somebody who owns their own fishing pole. <laughs> well, that's... That's a good requirement. Yeah. And then there's this enticing lead. Alaska Men Magazine, filled with pictures and bios of theoretically eligible bachelors all over the state of Alaska. I wonder what the deal is on these guys exactly. What I'm looking for is a person that has a good heart, is a nice person and that there's a connection made. Real estate salesman and boxing promoter Jim Patton is about to be on the magazine cover for a second time. Yeah. Okay, right here we have a box of mail, letters that you got from being in Alaska Men Magazine. About how many letters did you get in total from being the cover of Alaska Men Magazine? 4,000. 4,000 letters. And you're still seeking women? Yes. Yeah. No, so there was nobody in the 4,000 letters that was up to your standards? I like a lot of them. Uh, there just wasn't a, that special spark. Yeah, well, usually I, it, I understand that because it usually takes between 30 and 50,000 letters for me to find a special spark. Okay, so if one of these women 
from Alaska Men Magazine actually pursued you and came up to Alaska to meet you, what would you guys do together? I'd probably take him to Connect River and go uh, four wheeling. Now, you actually can exist without wearing like big shoes and big gloves and stuff in Alaska in the winter. Yeah, I run around in tennis shoes all the time. Do you have uh, blood in your veins? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> you are in fact part of my species, are you not? <laughs> and we're not gonna roll over and I'm not gonna die? Sure? Yes. Whoa, whoa. I love Alaska. I'm not moving anywhere else. If just only you could find someone, if only you had five or six thousand people to pick from, maybe you could find someone to share it all with you. <laughs> and getting ready to make his debut in the next issue of Alaska Men magazine, Tom Bitson is yet another Alaskan man who, you guessed it, just didn't meet the right one, I guess. Do you think in a, in a group of, say, four thousand women, you could find someone that you liked? You gotta, you gotta believe that. <laughs> you have a lot of dead guys around this room. <laughs> well, I, they wouldn't come in alive, so they had to shoot them. <laughs> now, the woman that you like doesn't have to own her own firearms already. No, you'll provide the firearms for her. She doesn't even have to use them. I oh. mean, I've dated gals and had some great relationships, and they never shot. Yeah. <laughs> then I've dated some that. I mean, were better shots than I was with a handgun. One gal, yeah. she was a crack shot. Huh. I mean, she could she could just shoot the eyes out of them. I mean, she was a good shot with a pistol. Uh -huh. We had a little problem with her moving in a lesbian woman with her, and that shot that relationship down. Really? Well, there you have it. Ten guys to every woman in Alaska, and now I think we all understand why. So, are we getting married? <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I heard this is all about. <laughs> Come back in just a couple years when I predict the odds are going to be 20 to 1. Maybe one of these days I'll find somebody. Yeah, but you're not, not really looking for somebody. No, not really. From Alaska, I'm Meryl Marco, and I'm going home. See you later. She got a house of logs. Come on, let's get out of here. She got 36 dogs. <laughs> what do you have, like cement in your boots? I said, come on, let's get out of here. Don't be a lard butt, let's go. I said, come on, baby.